Hello and good morning. Uh, this is my second video blog entry. Uh, it's been about a month um, since since we last spoke. Today's Saturday, July the 5th, and um, as you recall in my prior video, my first video, uh, I had just shaved my head. Well, here it is about a month later and my hair is truly falling out. I have, uh, I'm sure you can see here what kind of considered typically um, basic, you know, chemo hair or, or cancer hair, whatever. Um, as far as how I'm doing, uh, it's hard to say that I'm doing well under the circumstances. I mean, um, my blood counts are all next to zero, you know, red, red cells, white cells, all of that, all of those components are pretty much zeroed out. Um, I'm being kept alive essentially with um, blood transfusions, platelets, you know, receiving platelets and those kinds of things. Uh, I am, in fact, at MD Anderson here today. It's about 7.30, almost 8 o'clock in the morning, and I've already had, uh, I've already had blood work. Um, my vitals have been checked. Um, I do today need, plate, need to receive platelets and blood. Um, so, you know, but all these things are to be expected. I mean, this was the goal of the chemotherapy. Um, so I can't say I'm doing well, but I can say that I'm responding to treatment. You know, the goal from here, of course, is to uh, is to progress over the next subsequent few weeks and uh, to have my own my own um, body start producing the blood cells and the blood counts again, uh, and and for my own resources, physical resources to kick in. I'll I will know here probably uh, in another week or so if I'm in remission. I had a uh, I had a bone marrow scan last week, and I'm due to have another one this upcoming week and um, between the two of them basically I'll, I'll know if I'm in remission or not uh, and then from there uh, you know it, it's it's an ongoing process I've also been informed that due to uh, an anomaly I guess a chromosome anomaly and I don't know how more or better to explain it to you medically but uh, I'm going to be less likely to stay in remission and more likely to um, to come out of remission, basically, I may not be as receptive to this treatment as as I, it would be ideal. Um, so they are recommending a stem cell transplant. Uh, unfortunately, my insurance currently does not cover the stem cell transplant. So I'm trying to coordinate with MD Anderson to have that covered. Um, you know, that being said, all of the donations that have been received, I, I truly appreciate that. It means the world to me, as well as your thoughts and prayers uh, mean the world to me. Um, and I wanted to thank you in advance to uh, put, put a big shout out there or a big thank you to DI Central. Uh, DI Central is a company that I worked for a couple of years ago down in the Clear Lake area. They're actually um, scheduling a blood drive on my behalf. Uh, it's going to be July the 9th, I believe it is. Um, anyone that is in the greater Houston area that can, that can go out and support, you know, that it would be great. Um, just message me here on the site. Um, or via email and I can give you any you know all the pertinent details but I want to thank thank you in advance for that um, I'll stay in touch with you here over the next uh, next few weeks let you know how I'm doing and again thank you for all the thoughts and prayers uh, I'll be signing off for now thanks bye-bye